In some patients, when they take their medicines on time and they're able to control their HIV virus, their viral load goes down to the point where it's not detectable, which is great because it means that they're controlling their HIV infection, but what they start to see is a slow reduction in their CD4 counts. The CD4 cell count is a reflection of the immune status or the health of the immune system. And sometimes we can see that even though the virus is being controlled to a level where we can't even detect it anymore in the blood with the tests that we have, the CD4 count is slowly going down. This is something that we have seen in the past and is something to be to note, but it's not something to be as worried about because the patient is doing the best that they can do by controlling their HIV infection and taking their medicines every day. The most important test to know whether or not HIV disease is controlled is the viral load. As long as the viral load is suppressed, it's good to know what your CD4 count is, especially if it's very low or under 200, and your doctor can talk about what to do in order to prevent developing other opportunistic infections but maintaining that viral load to be as low as possible is the most important part of treatment. For those people who have this low CD4 where it either goes down a little or it doesn't go up and does not improve, that probably reflects weaknesses in their immune system. And those weaknesses may take a long time to get better, so we can start to see some improvement over years of treatment, but it should not be discouraging. It shouldn't tell you that you're not doing something good by taking your antiretroviral therapy. Taking your antiretroviral therapy is still the most important aspect of controlling your HIV infection. So even if your CD4 count is not getting better, if your viral load test remains undetectable, you are doing the best that you can. In those kinds of situations, it's good to talk with your doctor to find out whether there's anything that you can do to help to improve your CD4 count. Sometimes that might mean taking a different kind of medication or stopping taking another medication that can affect your body's ability to make CD4 cells.